Hey everybody, in this video we're going to go about uh, troubleshooting the electrical problem in the taillights of my Indian motorcycle. In this motorcycle, the electrical wiring in the taillights are totally custom, so if you're having issues with your bike, this may not uh, apply to you. But what we're going to do is, in order to, to access the taillights and the back since they're integrated into the fender itself, we're going to have to remove the seat and remove the fender. So in case you missed my last video and you don't understand what I'm talking about but to short my lights I'm just going to show you here. Turn the ignition on. You can see my tail lights in the rear here. But as I tap the fender you can see it's blinking so we definitely got to go about fixing that and now it's out. So I'm going to start removing everything and then you'll be able to see access to what I'm doing. i show you this. Since my uh, rear fender's off I just want to give you a close up. Not much to it, eh? For soft tail. Got the fender right there in the ground. The towel, we're gonna rip that off. I was gonna film it removing that, but one thing I can't stand is the sound of an air compressor going. Really freaking annoying. I'll show you guys how it goes. Here's the rear fender of the Indian Scout motorcycle. The graphic itself is painted on. It's custom, custom painted. In the eyes of the, I don't know what the hell it is, if it's a whale or a bird. Whatever it is, anyways, the eyes are incorporated as your signal lights and brake lights. And when this custom feature was done, this is how it is. I've had it apart a couple times, and um, I just actually, when I took it apart, you could see uh, the ground wire broke off. So that's going to be a pretty easy fix. I think I'm going to get the solder gun heated up and resolder that in. But this is the kind of setup I don't, I don't like this setup. I'd like to get something a little better than what this is. I mean, all these um, LED lights are all soldered in singly into the circuit board. And uh, like I said, over time, with riding the bike, the vibrations from riding usually breaks the solder points between these and uh, usually causes like sections to break out. Because once one solder breaks, you know, one section of the lights is going to quit working. And that's where you get where I had over here, where I tap the side of the light and it flicker. So I'm going to bust out the soldering gun and we're going to solder that ground wire back on and then connect it to the bike and then see if it works when we uh, give it power. All LEDs are lit up. Now we're going to assemble it back on the bike and we're good to go for another few runs, maybe another year before the solder breaks again. So like I said, troubleshooting electrical problems, doesn't matter if it's on a bike or car or anything else, it can be troublesome, uh, frustrating, and can really piss you off at times. Because basically if it's just happening on and off, it's they're actually really hard to find. I had a problem with this bike up until yesterday, believe it or not, that I was able to fix the headlight. When I was driving, the headlight kept going on and off, on and off, on and off. So there was a short somewhere. I went through everything. I replaced the signal lights in the lever here. I directly wired um, from the battery to the switch to the light circuit itself to bypass the module for the Indian because I there's nothing I could do it always kept on shorting out and the light kept cutting out and what happened is that yesterday when I was out riding the headlight kept going on and off constantly and I figured fuck it's got to show up now it's got to show up now so what I did is I removed the cover here and what it was is I started wiggling wires and it was a ground wire that was connected to a whole bunch of other grounds and the connection just come loose and once I plugged it in the headlights been perfect now I can wiggle the wires I can turn it on and off because before I'd have like my ignition on my bike I'd be flicking my switch on and off like that and then the lights would just fade out so stuff like that is could be as easy as uh, a wire being loose usually um, a wire breaks like you saw my um, tail light section here basically they can be a real pain in the ass and um, once we get going, there'll be some other projects where I'll actually have to pull the testers and like start measuring volts and ohms and everything else. But I'm gonna leave that video for now. It's nice out. It's still uh, it's getting late in the day on Saturday, and um, I have to go back to work tomorrow for a few hours. But I want to be able to get out on the bike tonight. And uh, gonna do a stupid video tomorrow. Somebody requested on doing a video on maintenance on a lawnmower and since it's still pretty early in the season and it's about time I get the lawnmower fired up I'm just gonna make a video on that because I don't know some people 
I uh, really enjoyed watching those videos. I know I made a video before on checking our setting the time in your BMW car, and that video was like got like 20,000 views. Or um, I did a video on like a home chroming kit that I thought would be like totally boring, but I got like 100,000 views almost already. So, anyways, I'm gonna leave the video at this. I'm gonna go for a ride. So, if you have any questions or concerns, uh, post below or follow me at on Twitter, Bullshit Corner. And like I said, I'm looking for doing something different for the taillights in the back. A different setup for the lighting system. So, if you know something, come across something, send me an email, send me a message, tell me where to go because I'd like to do something different. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you later.